Welcome everybody to my video on rare world coins. Uh, hopefully the information I've provided to you is being helpful as to uh, as far as what world coins you can collect. Uh, and of course the coins that you collect, right, has to have the three things that I always look for, which is appeal, scarcity, and demand, okay? If you have all those three combination, I'm pretty sure you won't lose any money. Uh, but then again, be sure that you do refer as far as price-wise so you don't over uh, spend on a particular coin. There are many coins out there, so just be careful that you are not overpaying on those coins. Uh, what we have today is a very popular 1902 Great Britain Crown in NGC MS64. Uh, this is a a King Edward the Seventh Crown. This is a very popular coin, very short-lived coin, and so this one here is extremely hard to find in high grade, and the design itself makes it very difficult to determine if the coin is uncirculated uh, due to the beard, ears, and hair. Those are the things that normally is worn down first, but noted that this coin is also softly struck in those particular areas. So you have to be very watchful to be sure that you can see the design, okay? Uh, even the mustache lines needs to be there to be sure it is pretty much uncirculated, okay? If it's worn down, be careful. I would grade those coins as AU, okay? If it's softly struck, please avoid those coins because sometimes, you, even though it says in, in the seal that it is uncirculated, other collectors may think otherwise. So when you buy these coins, be sure that you know what you're looking at. In this case, you're looking at the very high points of the coin and that you see the beard detail, the mustache detail, and the hair detail. That is what you are looking for. So let's look at this particular coin. This is the 1902. And of course, you will see definitely a lot of information on the coin. What you need to do is look in this area here, be sure there is detail here and it's not flat. You see the mustache here that shows some line. You see the hair here defined and the ear. The first area of wear is gonna be on the sideburns. And if this gets pretty much gone, it is a circulated coin. So you can see it has designs there, but like I said, this is difficult coin to grade uh, based on this area. I've seen MS-65 missing the whole sideburn and has graded 65. To me, I would look to it as a regular, as, an, as a circulated coin. So be picky on how you grade these coins that you see the detail in the, those areas. So like I said, this area here is very important. Look at this area here. Look here. Okay, look at the hair and the ear. Those are the places that you wanna see. And of course, on the eyebrow. This is a hard coin to grade. So if you're not familiar with this coin, you could be buying a coin that is determined by somebody's uncirculated but in fact, it is a circulated coin, especially if it's raw. So you gotta be careful. The only coin that will have better detail is the proof issue of this particular coin, which is double struck. And of course, if I have one, I will definitely show you this one. A proof issue will have full detail in this area. This one here is very nice. It's got some detail, you can see it, it's not flat. So this one here is a nice uncirculated crown. On the reverse, 
There's King George slaying the dragon. Definitely a very popular design. And of course, high points here normally is the strap, the leg, this area here, the dragon. So watch out for what you have. But then again, like I said, some of these are weak strike in specific areas. But what you want to see is the full luster in the field. You will see the helmet that is fully struck. You will see the strap, the leg here detail, also down here, the detail of the dragon's br uh, breast area, the hand detail, pretty much all is there with all these muscles. So be looking at those areas to determine if it's uncirculated or not. This is a beautiful coin, very popular. It is a one year type. Uh, even though the, the mintage is oh, somewhat large, uh, many were widely circulated and melted down. This one here has a nice cartwheel luster, which is what you want to see. Beautiful coin. And the others, very nice. Very gorgeous coin. This is what you want to look for on purchasing these particular coins. 1902 crown and GC62. Very hard coin to get. Very difficult coin to grade. Be aware that when you buy these coins, you do know how to grade this coin because it, it, some of them will look like uncirculated, but in fact is a circulated coin. So just be worried about it. If it's certified, Hopefully, most likely, it is going to be uncirculated. But then again, you have to be picky because sometimes, even though it's certified, the coin is weakly struck. And avoid those coins that are weak strike because sometimes when you do decide to sell it, other collectors will think that it is a circulated coin and overgraded. Well, hopefully, this information will help you out. Uh, if you like what you hear, and hopefully it's helpful to your collection, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, share the information with other collectors, uh, give me a thumbs up, and hopefully next time I should have more coins from around the world. Till next time, bye-bye.